Dan, we're halfway through uh, Sebring 2014, the Sport Aviation Expo. Getting a fair amount of foot traffic, the uh, sun's out, and things are finally starting to warm up. So let's talk hot airplanes. Um, having been uh, a resident in the, over at Holler for quite some time and heard about Panther coming together and bits and pieces and so forth, tell me what reality is like. Talk about the Panther program. Uh, the Panther program going very well. You can see the airplane looks really good. We designed and built it over about 18 months. Flew it about nine months ago, tested it for over three months, me and another test pilot, and started selling kits at Oshkosh 13. We've got about 27 builders at various stages, just finishing the tooling for welded parts and getting the last bit of the kits out the door in the next couple months here. So going really well. Oh, we hear from folks that the, what they're looking at our initial kits, they've been pretty happy with. Yeah, I think so. There's always stuff we're going to make better. We get smarter. We learn. Uh, we can do things better. We get more capable. Uh, so even just the second batch of parts has been vastly better than the first. But in general, I think everyone's really happy with the quality, the fit and finish. And uh, we're just going to try to finish that up on the last details. And, and uh, then it'll never be finished, but, you know, we're getting close. Dan, what does the Panther bring to the mix that other aircraft haven't here to fork? It brings many of the things that I heard people wanted and I wanted myself, like folding wings, no fuel in the cockpit, rollover structure. It's an airplane that pushes the limits of the LSA rule. It's not a LSA like super SUL airplane. It's more like a LSA compliant, the early RVs, RV4s, 8s, stuff like that. So it brings, I think, an attractive airplane that is made in the United States 100% to the market that has a lot of you know, adjustable seats, rudder pedals, just a lot of versatility and a reasonable cost, we think. But as I understand it, there's a Panther II in the background. Yes, it is. It's called a Cougar. It's actually most of the design work was done ahead of time. And then just decided we better be cautious, be conservative. That's what we do. And built the single seat airplane first. It's been received well, but the Cougar will probably have, you know, a fourfold sales market. It's just a massive market. And it turns out it was a wise decision. Rachel, who is my wife, but also my business partner, she said, you know, although we need a two-seat airplane to make this a viable business, better be conservative and start little and, and get a good handle on things because we want to be, number one, we want to be friendly, honest, and have really good value and very high quality. And all that's hard to do right off the bat. It's an $11,000 airframe, and that's right at the bottom of the barrel, but it is a high-quality airframe. What's it going to cost? How long is it going to take to build? Uh, what are you recommending from a standpoint of equipment and power plants and so forth and so on? And overall, how long is it going to be before I'm out slipping the surly bonds of earth for myself? If you bought the very basic kit with no quick build parts, the airframe takes about 500 hours to assemble. If you take it to a paint shop and you use a pre-wired avionics package, I'd say about 600 hours, and that's pretty realistic. Now, if you want to Oshkosh Grand Champion, figure 1,500 hours. And if you want to fly it, you know, build it real rough and light and simple in your experience, you can knock some off that. It's a simple airplane, like the Spar only has 11 parts in it. It lacks some elegance, but it makes up for it in low parts count and quick assembly. With that engine, which is a core of air conversion, it's about a $28,000 airplane ready to fly. That's with a Grand Rapids EIS, big screen in it, one radio, no transponder. It does carry 27 gallons of gas, so it's got good legs. And if you want inverted fuel and oil, you can add about another 1000 bucks to that setup. Now, we offer in-house four different engines, small continental, Lycoming, Corvair, and we're doing UL. There's rumors here at the show that we're going to also be working with people to do Jabiru, and Rotex at the moment. A lot of engine options. You mentioned uh, quick build. What's that take out of the mix? The quick build, we're still dabbling. We, we can take fuel tanks out of there. So you can take about 50 hours of construction to build a good set of fuel tanks. And uh, we can also finish up your spars uh, for you. And that takes you know about 30 hours of construction. Off. The spars are really easy to build. And we loan you the riveting tools you need for free. You just pay the shipping. And it takes about three hours once you're ready to rivet with our squeezer redesign. The spar rolls them back through it. You can see it on our website. We are entertaining either pushing the limit of 51% kit, everything assembled, trying to work out some deals with maybe a aviation school or something to get some labor in there in the United States, get them quick build, or even E or SLSA, depending on what the market wants. We're kind of feeling that out now. I guess I should mention that we have a sport version of both of them. We have a clipped wing Panther with 160 horse Lycoming in it. That is direct competition for an RV3 with for a big cockpit. I don't know if you sat in it, but you can fit in it great and it's adjustable. So you get an RV3 with a big cockpit and folding wings and really easy and quick to build if you built the sport version. Now, for more information, how can people get a hold of you? The best way is uh, www.flywithspa.com, and you can get all our information, watch videos of spin testing, flight testing, aerobatics, just out goofing around in airplanes, okay. and then you can get that information, call me directly, call on the weekends, call at night, I don't care. Love this stuff, I'm happy to be doing it. So There you go. Dan, I appreciate your time. I wish you the best of luck, and just from everything I've seen outside of it, very pretty airplane, we're going to have to talk about getting a chance to fly her.
The aviation industry is far too automated and impersonal. Levels of care, service, and focus on customers have faded. Concierge provides premier customer care, leading our industry on a return to service. Find us at www.concierge.arrow. 